Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for May 6th through the 12th. I'm gonna be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome, and this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that already happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future, and roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person, on on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Also, just want to thank everybody for being so patient. This week has been crazy, and I could not do a reading to save my life yesterday when I was trying to get your readings out. It just... I kept messing up. So I was like, I need to sleep and give y'all fresh energy. I need my intuition to be good. <laughs> um, so that way I can pull these messages correctly. I will never give you a half done reading. So thank you so much for everyone for um, being patient. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me cancer for May 6th through the 12th. Here I go again. That's what happens whenever you work all week and I'm like, what day is it? So <laughs> Cancer, May 6th through the 12th. I get excited about my weekends, you know, it's my time off, but I couldn't even tell you it was Saturday today. I woke up and was so busy. <laughs> all right, Cancer, May 6th through the 12th, please. Okay. Oh, that one wanted to come out and then didn't. So let's see what's going on for you. Okay. Um, so in your immediate past, we do have the justice card. Some of you were dealing with trying to create balance in your life, wanting the truth about a situation. And also there is something about legal matters, maybe, you know, to do with the law or, you know, something in the court system. So that was in your immediate past. Currently, you're trying not to worry as much, you know, with this nine of swords coming out in reverse and you're trying to leave your worries behind. I'm really getting like the justice card of someone, you know, coming to you about a situation. Um, but yes, wanting the truth, wanting to find a good balance, trying to do the right thing. Um, you know, the nine of swords in reverse right there, like I'm going to stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and then in your immediate future, we do have the four of wands, which I love that. So if you're looking at a relationship or something like that, I do see that coming up and looking really good. However, if this is about, I do see some of you maybe moving to a new place, um, trying to find a good balance for yourself, let the worries go and get back on track with having a very stable foundation. Maybe some of you are really um, trying to move into a new place or getting accepted into a what am I trying to say? I was going to say contracts because we have contracts here. So maybe you're buying a new place, a house or something like that. Um, the King of Swords comes out as your advice right here. And so this is about working really hard um, and being logical and practical and making sure you have a solid plan. And then we also have the Three of Swords and the Lovers that comes out as your outcome. Um, both of them came out, so I'm going to leave them both there. I am seeing a situation that feels heart, you know, like heartbreaking, but there is a relationship there. It's like no matter the struggles, you're going to try and get through it. Um, but let's let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. We're going to start with the Justice card in the immediate past here for you. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, the Death card in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and then the Two of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing a lot of trying to get things stable and balanced and, um, you know, making a plan for yourself here. Uh, going back to something, it feels like a karmic situation. And now if this is with someone, it's like, great, I'm going through this again. But you're trying to maintain a balance between things, whether it is uh, a relationship or work or things like that but um, not wanting to give up, but it just feels like something doesn't make you happy anymore in the past situation. And you're really trying to just like 
push through and stay in this balance of, you know, things teetering from one direction to the other. Now let's go ahead and clarify that nine of swords in reverse. So the nine of swords in reverse is clarified by the 10 of cups, temperance card and the page of cups, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. And I do see that, you know, letting go of worries, you're focusing on what is good in your life and being patient with love, creativity, sharing your feelings, opening up, and you're seeing progress moving forward. You're like, things are really looking good. And I like where it goes from the three of wands here at the bottom of the deck. And then we're moving into this four of wands in your immediate future. Um, I love this. It looks really good. Let's go ahead and clarify that four of wands. Ooh. So if you were looking to buy a new place, um, a relationship here or moving to a new place. Yeah, somebody else is hurt and upset because you're moving on. But yes, I do see that things are going well for you. Um, and maybe you're leaving somebody else behind. That's where they're feeling hurt and that you're playing games with them because you're moving on or moving out and on your own. That could be in the form of, you know, a roommate. That could be, you know, maybe you're moving on from somebody else or, you know, you end up getting this place. So if it was a contract for a, a new new home or new residence or apartment, condo, whatever, you are the one um, successful here. We do have, this is good for you, but somebody else is upset. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck and I like how things are flowing and looking really good for you. Um, I, I do see somebody else's negativity like, oh, I can't believe you got that cancer and I didn't. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that King of Swords for your advice here. Ooh, I just heard focus on the prize. So the King of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, the Four of Swords, and then the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Your advice is saying to, you know, be logical, practical, think about things, you know, make a plan for yourself because there is a new abundance. There is a new, um, it feels like some of you, a new romance here that happens really fast and feels very much like you can just relax and it feels really good and things like that. But when it comes to you personally, your hard work is paying off. And so this new abundance takes off really fast. Stay focused, know where you want to go and just know that everything's going to be okay. Um, you know, also that four of swords is saying to take care of yourself, um, for you to I'm like, where, where are my words today? <laughs> I think I'm so happy. I have energy, but I have been running around all day. Um, self-love and care. So pampering yourself a little bit, take it easy a little bit. Um, you know, in your downtime, do something nice for yourself. So you don't overwork yourself to the point where you're frustrated. Um, but things are going to happen really fast and it's going to feel like very restful, very much at peace at ease here. And that page of pentacles is it's good news coming in. I love that. And not only good news, it's like, if you're trying to create more wealth for yourself, whether it is, you know, spiritual wealth, or financial wealth or just overall good wealth and health for you um, that is coming in and I love that so let's go ahead and clarify that three of swords and this lover's energy as your outcome somebody is just heartbroken over not having a relationship with you and ends up missing you so this is somebody who is alone from you away from you feeling alone and they think about you they have dreams about you they want to be with you um, but they're moving really slow i'm also getting that leaving something behind and moving forward here does create some kind of heartbreak for you but you're also very excited about this relationship moving forward whether it's a union in something else you're doing or with somebody else um, it's like, it's a long time waiting and it comes around to, you know, a relationship of some sort that feels really, really good. We have the lovers that comes out again. So the hermit, the moon and the lovers also trust your intuition, trust that even though you may not have all the answers, sometimes you have to lead, um, with your own wisdom through the areas of your life that you might not know what's coming. And it leads you to some really beautiful, um, 
relationships, unions here. And uh, the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of that is saying, stick to your plan. You know, keep doing what you're doing, Cancer, because everything is working out beautifully. I love this. So let's go ahead and get a couple of Oracle messages for you. What do you want Cancer to know about their reading? Reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. So don't let anybody dim that light for you. You've been excited and very much so anticipating things to work out wonderfully. Um, don't allow your mental conflict get the best of you and feel hurt about a situation or anything like that or feel like, oh, am I ever going to get there? Yes, you're overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. That's exactly what is happening for you. I love this. It's beautiful energy and you are protected by angels. You're are cherished by the angels. So this is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.